We were actually in the meat locker picking out the steaks from the regular menu, but I saw this hunk of rib hanging, aging majestically in the, uh, in the meat locker, and I was like, kind of need to try that. I am at Gatatois 33 Barn Steak. We've been open for, uh, for close to four years. Um, there was a restaurant here before. Uh, after Katrina kind of wiped it out and it stayed dormant for years. Then Galaswaz decided to purchase the building. They completely gutted everything. All they had was the, the four walls that were here. And they, they rebuilt it from the ground up. And they had this beautiful dining room, um, great kitchen, we have a banquet room upstairs. Tell me about this piece of beef. It looks magnificent. I mean, look at the marbling on that. It looks like a beautiful piece of prime. Yeah, this is basically a, a prime uh, ribeye, bone in, whole and uh, we age it for 21 days and uh, when it's ready to go you know we'll cut it to anywhere from um, uh, 16 ounces all the way up to uh, 36 ounces. Let's talk about how we're going to cook this guy. Yes yeah, so basically what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to take a cut from this uh, other side of the bone right here it's probably going to give us about a 26 ounce portion I'm going to uh, trim the fat from it and then add a little bit of uh, salt pepper and roll it in the roller for you know Get a nice caramelization on top and go from there. It's very simple, just pepper salt in the yes. broiler. Yes. No, no Cajun seasonings. No, 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 we keep it simple. We You're like the true flavors of the, of the beef to show. Here we go. Thank you, Chef. You're welcome. So tell me what the finish on this is. When we finish our steaks, we uh, put a little bit of Meniere butter right on top just to finish it just a little bit. It's uh, butter that's been browned, and then we've added um, a little uh, lemon juice and uh, uh, red wine vinegar. Wow, right so really a nice it. combination of citrusy and mm -hmm. acidic, and, and, but also and the nutty nutty the, 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 from the, the brown butter. butter. Exactly. Exactly. I am excited about this. This is going to be another epic day on the meat show. Uh, I'm looking for the Spinalis Dorsey. There it is. This is every carnivore's favorite cut of beef, I think. Let's get a, a nice chunk of the longissimus here. And I'm just going to try these straight off as regular steaks, and then we're going to go into the sauces. Mm. Right off the bat, you get that great punch from the Miniere sauce. Tremendous crust on the steak. I mean, he's done an absolutely fabulous job of caramelizing the outside. And then you get the profound beef flavor coming through. And then here's the longissimus. So you can see it's perfectly cooked. I love the edge to edge that he's achieved. That's actually, you know, easier said than done. I mean, it really is perfectly cooked. These sauces here have long story traditions, and they're actually things that you don't You'll see some of them in New York City steakhouses, but it's not really part of our culture there. So I'm very happy to be trying some of these. Oh, it's heavy lift. Oh, God. I should really work out more. Let's just get right in here. The au poivre. This is obviously a classic steak sauce. Doesn't get much more classic than that. Perfect rendition. Get that heat from the peppercorns, but you also get that really nice creaminess. And then just that cognac finish is like the perfect... Uh, the perfect counterbalance to it. Okay, this is the one that I'm actually gonna just try like this because it's so fantastic. A little uh, bacon and veal on beef action here. That's so good. I mean, almost like you could eat a piece of chicken in that, it would almost be, almost be as good. Oh, look at that. Look at the, the way it just sort of globs onto the piece of meat. They just made for each other, these two things. A perfect Bernays, it's just got that lovely cut of, of vinegar and then that spike of tarragon. The final one is a New Orleans style Bordelais. I'm sure this is going to be as good as the other ones were. I think it's, it's very well named. It hints at the French traditions, but there's something that's very sort of New Orleans about that sauce. I like that a lot. Big piece of meat. Clearly this has been seared, it's a steak, it's cooked like a steak. But he's managed to sort of coax these flavors out of it that would really sort of think, make you think that you've cooked it for like a long time and really broken that muscle down. But very, very good job here. Thanks for watching. For more episodes of The Meat Show, click here. I'm gonna sit here and eat the rest of this meal. I thought it was very well balanced before, but adding the sherry really helped cut through that fat. 
it's good. But it doesn't need any more sherry. However, I do. 